Hi everyone, thanks for watching today's video. Today I'm going to talk in very simple language the difference between a benign tumor and a malignant tumor or a cancerous tumor. So difference between a non-cancerous tumor and a cancerous tumor. That is the topic today. However, doctors use the word tumor and if I had mentioned the word tumor to a patient, they always get very worried that I'm talking about cancer. Doctors, some doctors use the word neoplasm, especially when doctors are talking to doctors, they use the word neoplasm. Some doctors use a word, which is again the same word as tumor, but they use the word growth. Sometimes they use a the word lesion. Now all these things in most doctors' minds mean the same thing. However, what does a tumor mean? So to understand what a tumor means, as we know, our body is made up of building blocks. Like we have blocks making up a house. Similarly, blocks make up the body. Every part of the body is made up of these blocks. They, the blocks look different in different parts of the body. These are called cells. Now, in our body, every day cells are dying because every cell has a life. So some cells will live a few days, some cells will live few weeks, some will live a month, some will live for the most of our life, but they will eventually die. That's why death happens. But when the cells die, vast majority of these cells will be replaced by different cells, either similar cells or cells which look a bit different. So that is constantly happening in our body every day of our life. However, sometimes these cells overgrow. So they like get heaped up into a big lump or a small lump or a flat lump or a rounded lump or an irregular lump. And that swelling or that lump is a tumor. So it is an abnormal growth of cells or tissues in different parts of our body. When they grow abnormally, which means they're growing excessively more than the need. So the dying cells are replaced by excess number of cells, which were more than what our body needs, makes a swelling or a lump or called a tumor. But these excess growth of cells can happen because of inflammation as well. Inflammation can be because of infection. So when we get an infection, we get a lump on our skin or inside our body, our glands grow because of infection. We bump our head against something, we get a lump on the head. That is because of inflammation. Those are not classified as tumors. So tumors is excessive growth of tissue in our body because cells are growing more than they need to and they form a swelling. So that is a tumor. So make things even more confusing, when doctors talk about tumors, they don't necessarily mean that you've got cancer and you can die from it. So there are two different types of tumors, benign tumors and malignant tumors. Benign tumors are non-cancerous tumors, which means they are not cancer. And malignant tumors are cancerous tumors, which means they behave differently from benign tumors. So let's differentiate between the two, why some tumors are called benign tumors and why some tumors are called malignant tumors. What is the difference between the two? So as most of us know, tumors can happen anywhere in our body, in the brain, lungs, stomach, intestine, arms, legs, etc. The places they don't happen usually are the ones which are non-living parts of our body, like the hair or the nails. So. I have given an example over here of two tumors in the stomach. So that is the stomach, that black bag-like structure. That is the liver which sits just above the stomach and the spleen sits on this side of the stomach. There is one tumor I've drawn and there is a second tumor I've drawn. These are the lymph glands which are outside the stomach which acts like sieve. So any infection in the stomach or any tumor in the stomach they sieve it out so it does not spread anywhere else in the body. That is the main function. You can clearly see the difference between this tumor, which is a benign tumor, and this tumor, which is a cancerous tumor. It looks different. This looks very smooth and roundy. 
not all benign tumors look like that but vast majority of them will look very smooth very roundy which can be removed very easily without leaving much behind look at the difference between the cancerous tumor and the benign tumor it's quite obvious cancerous tumor is quite rough you can see it looks very nasty depending on which part of the body it is it looks different in the brain looks different in the lungs look different in the kidneys but they don't look nice but you can also see this tumor which is spreading outside the stomach and getting stuck to the spleen so it is involving the spleen so if somebody wants to remove cut out this tumor which is a cancerous tumor the surgeon will probably will have to remove the spleen as well otherwise he will not be able to get rid of the cancer in this case this benign tumor is not getting stuck to anything else it's just stuck into the stomach so if this tumor needs to be removed by the surgeon only part of the stomach needs to be removed the second problem that can happen with a cancerous tumor compared to benign tumor cancerous tumors throw out seeds yeah they throw out like little satellites they throw out like little cells which run either our blood stream through our blood stream and they can spread so malignant tumor a cancerous tumor can spread into our liver so after a few months or a few years when it's been there for quite some time it can spread and go into the liver and can form a cancer of the liver and is going from the stomach into the liver however benign tumors do not spread you can also see this malignant tumor a cancerous tumor can spread into the lymph glands so all these lymph glands are infected by the cancer so if the surgeon needs to remove this tumor or treat this tumor by say surgery or chemotherapy or radiotherapy removing the tumor alone is not enough they'll have to remove the tumor the spleen because this tumor is getting stuck into the spleen they will also have to remove or treat the lymph glands either by surgery or chemotherapy they will also have to remove or treat with chemotherapy the tumor that has spread into the liver so those are the main differences in a benign tumor and a cancerous tumor so just to recap benign tumors are very smooth looking much easier to remove as compared to cancerous tumors cancerous tumors look nasty to look at they spread into the surrounding important structures they can spread into the lymph glands they can also spread to other parts of our body like the liver the lungs the brain the bones etc so there are the main differences between the benign and malignant tumors does that mean benign tumors are totally harmless answer is no because benign tumors can also grow to quite large size also if they don't grow to a large size even a small benign tumor say in our skull or in our brain can cause far more damage as compared to a malignant tumor elsewhere in the body so it depends where the benign tumors are also some benign tumors secrete substances like hormones etc which can cause serious damage to our body so benign tumors are not always completely harmless yes they might not in a short term be life threatening but if some of them if left alone can cause life threatening damage to our body however those benign tumors are only far and few vast majority of benign tumors are pretty harmless so that is the main difference between benign tumors and malignant or cancerous tumors so if somebody talks to you about tumors or tells god forbid you find out in your family or friend somebody has got a tumor don't take it for granted that it is a cancerous tumor it is a life threatening condition they need to get more information there is a variety of tumor which is in between the two so say for example there is a tumor here in the stomach now this tumor is slightly different than this and this this is halfway between benign and cancerous so this is called a precancerous tumor which means it has got certain areas which are changing from a benign tumor into a cancerous tumors 
Many of you might have watched my video on bound polyps, colon polyps. And as I explained in it before, colon polyps start as benign polyps, like this tumor here. And when they are left for a long period of time, they can start changing their cells into pre-malignant or pre-cancerous polyps. And if left alone for quite some time, they can actually change into cancerous tumors. So I hope this made things a bit easier to understand. And please remember to support our educational channel and subscribe and push the like button if you do. Thank you very much for watching.